Hello everyone, welcome to RN Vitals. I am Prajipta and in this video we are going to talk about two most tested drugs on NCLEX which are heparin and water. Make sure you watch this video till end because there is no chance you can skip this chapter or this two drugs because this as I said are most tested means you have a chance of 99.9% .9 to get this drug on your exam. I am going to share with you four important things that you have to keep in mind while you face this drug. You are never going to face any difficulty while answering any questions regarding to heparin and warfarin. Make sure you watch this video till end and if you still have any queries, make sure you drop them down in the comment section. Let's begin. Okay guys, so let us now discuss in detail what heparin and warfarin are. So as you can see on the screen, this both are blood thinners or anticoagulants, which simply mean that they do not allow a clot to form in the bloodstream. That is the simplest meaning I can say about heparin and warfarin. This both are not the same drugs, but they do belong to the same group. All right, let's move on. Okay, so first let us understand where to not use this drug or basically the contraindications of anticoagulants. So one thing with the first one is a contraindication. Basically, it is a common sense that whenever the patient is bleeding, we want them to clot and not to disrupt their clotting mechanism. So we do not give when the patient is actively bleeding or the patient is hemorrhagic. Second is DIC or disseminated intravascular coagulation is a coagulopathy where we do not give it. Then we have brain injuries, ulcers, bleeding disorders, and liver and kidney disease. All of these things are majorly contraindicated whenever you want to start the patient on heparin and warfarin. Keep this in mind. This is some simple common sense. Moving on. Okay, so let us now talk about the four most important things that you have to remember regarding these drugs. Let us first talk about heparin. So in heparin, we need to check APTT or activated partial thromboplastin time, which normally should be in a range of 20 to 30. But if a patient is on heparin, it should be twice the normal, which is 20 to 240 and 13 to 2, which is 60. Now, less than 80 is fine, but if it is APTT is going above 80, you need to make sure that you have to lower the dose. Otherwise, the patient have a high risk of bleeding, internal bleeding, basically. Second thing about warfarin, on the other hand, we have to check PT, prothrombin time and international normalized ratio or INR. Very important, just keep in your mind as it is. Normal INR is less than 1.5, but the therapeutic level of INR with warfarin, which basically means that a patient, if on warfarin already, you need to make sure that the INR would be between 2 and 3. The most important thing here is to remember that if the patient has got his or her valve transplanted and they have a prosthetic valve, they are at a high risk of forming a clot. That's why we'll give a little higher dose of warfarin and then the INR, if we check, will get around 3 to 4.5. If more, make sure you lower the dose. That's it. All right. Second most important thing that we'll be remembering are their antidotes for heparin. It is protamin sulfate. For warfarin, it is vitamin K. And whatever things I have listed here, make sure you keep them in mind. The patient should not be taking excess cranberry juice, grapefruit, green tea or alcohol because these things are said to be interfering with the effectiveness of warfarin or either they are very high in vitamin K because of which they'll basically entire the effects of warfarin. Keep that in mind. Third thing is the action time. About action time, heparin is a short acting drug while warfarin is a long acting drug. It may even take up to 48 to 72 hours to be begin um, acting properly. So basically, we often give this both drugs together to a patient where we need to get desired action now also and we want it to be continued lifelong or maybe for certain days so make sure you remember this warfarin can be taken lifelong while heparin cannot okay heparin is a short acting drug so which means that you can take it now or maybe tomorrow when you require it warfarin cannot be taken like that warfarin can be taken lifelong it's fine with that so one thing to remember about action time, heparin is short acting, warfarin is long acting, short acting can be taken right now, 
warfarin can be taken for life long okay fourth and the last thing that you have to keep in mind whether this two drugs are pregnancy safe or not very simple to remember heparin is pregnancy safe while warfarin is unsafe it's u w this is how i remembered it as here are two use i considered it to be unsafe and uh, for heparin it's completely opposite which means that it can be given in pregnancy there is there are no issues if you give warfarin on the other hand in pregnancy it will cause birth defects and bleeding issue into the mother and the coming baby so make sure you keep in mind okay so that's it regarding the four points let's get out and talk Okay guys so i think i've tried my best to explain to you all the four points and everything basically you need to remember for heparin and warfarin if you still have any doubts confusion or things that you want me to answer even if you want me to make a certain video on a particular topic that you find hard or something make sure you put all your precious comments in the comment section below and uh, until we meet for the next video make sure you check out my previous two shots which are again important as we are doing a 30 day nclex high yield topics under this channel into that short section so go check it out the links will be in the i button so that's it for now happy hunting